Just fundamentally, America was built upon the idea that all men are created equal, and on that alone, but also personally, I would really like to get married at some point. Um, I've been raised in a strong Lutheran tradition, the church is really important to me, and to have people who are telling me that the God I know and love is all about hating me is not something I'm going to accept. Oh, so you're a Christian as well? Yes. So I saw there's a lot of Christians on the other side of the uh, the road here <laughs> that, that disagree with you. What would you say to them? Um, I would say that fundamentally if they want to find scriptural basis for the reason I'm out here, uh, Jesus, who's sort of the entire point of the whole Christian thing, gave us two rules. One is love God with all your heart, your body, your mind, your soul, and the other is to love your neighbor as thyself. Same-sex couples are not here asking for a seat at the table because we've always been here. We are not here at the steps of the Supreme Court to beg. We're here to support equality. We're here to uh, stand as Baptists from uh, Northern Virginia, Dannendale, Virginia, uh, from a congregation that deeply supports the, uh, the love of God and the rights of all people to experience the joy of marriage. And we're here to just bear witness to what we understand to be the gospel of Jesus. It's and these are people from, uh, from our congregation right here. So you all, you all support marriage equality? Yes. It's, it's usually Baptists have a stereotype of, of being against... Well, that's kind of the reason we worked our way up to the front here. <laughs> we wanted to be front and center to say that there is another way and that while we may not represent the mainstream of Baptist life, that there are many others who feel the way that we do. And, and what would you and say? Who are, and who are offended and saddened by the message of hate. So what would you say to the Christians on the other side of the, the street here that, that would disagree with you? What would I say to them? Yeah, what, 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 what would you say to them? I would call them brothers and sisters. And, uh, and I would reach out to them. Uh, I have to say I would have a different reaction to most of them than I would to these who have a true message of hate. I think they're speaking out of sincerity. Uh, I gotta say for myself, for my friends, and and uh, fellow church members here that it, it really feels good today to feel like we're on the right side of history. Yeah. And I think if uh, we feel like if Jesus were here, he'd be standing here, but he would not be condemning or judging them. And uh, do you have any gay people in your congregation? Yes. Uh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. we sure do. Uh, yeah, and and uh, as one of our teenagers said, at a regional meeting of, uh, of Baptist teenagers, uh, we have a name for people in our church who are gay. We call them members. I'm here because I wanted to stand on the side of equality and witness history. Um, I came from Ohio last night at about 6 o'clock. Our line's over there. We will get to witness the Doma oral argument tomorrow. And today I'm just kind of protesting the hatred that's out here. So I, I was interested in your sign. My parents' marriage used to be illegal. Too. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. So basically, um, in 1967, the Supreme Court uh, issued a ruling in the case Loving versus Virginia that said interracial couples had a right to marry. Had my parents been married in 1966, 65, before that, their, their marriage would have been illegal, just like today. My best friend can't marry his boyfriend because it's illegal. History, it's coming. The changes are coming. And I believe that after these cases are argued, we will be on the right side of history, not hate mongers and hide behind Christianity and be Baptist when the real Baptist church is out. because um, marriage equality is uh, should be respected by 
the courts and by our government and by all people and we need to recognize and show support for marriage equality. Uh, I see, I see. And I see you're on the same side of the street as the kind of protesters. How'd that happen? That just kind of, that was a gradual process unfortunately. I came here, came here in the morning um, and it was all filled with marriage equality people um, and then the parade for those opposed anti marriage equality came and kind of infiltrated and took over the side of the street unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, but we're standing our ground so, it must, it must, so you, are you proud to, to, to be the front line? Or, and, uh... I mean, I'm proud just to, to try and support my views and to try to encourage, um, to encourage the Supreme Court to be on the right side of history, yes.